Welcome back to all our ornamental fish viewers. Thanks for joining us for this another insightful video on breeding, rearing, and caring for your ornamental fish. If you're new to our channel, please remember to click the subscribe button for instant notifications and more. Now today's topic, we'll be dealing with duckweed versus azola. Now in the world of aquatic plants, duckweed and azola reign supreme as two of the most fascinating species. Both offer incredible potential in sustainable agriculture, environmental management, and even biofuel production. Despite their similarities, duckweed and azola have distinct characteristics that make them valuable in different ways. Let's explore the differences, similarities, and unique uses of these aquatic powerhouses. Want to know more? Stay tuned. Welcome back to all our viewers and subscribers. Now, first up, we have duckweed, also known as lemna. It's one of the smallest flowering plants in the world, and it's known for spreading quickly. It literally floats on the surface of still waters and can create that thick green blanket you see in ponds and lakes. Now, duckweed is super efficient at what it does. It reproduces fast, absorbs nutrients, and helps remove pollutants from the water. In fact, it's often used in wastewater treatment because it can absorb excess nitrogen and phosphorus. Talk about a natural water purifier. One of the coolest things about duckweed is its potential potential as a sustainable food source. Yes, you heard me right. That this duckweed is packed with protein and some researchers are looking into how it can be used to feed livestock or even as a human food supplement. It's also a fantastic fantastic fish feed which is why you might see it in aquaculture setups now let's have a look at the second contender azola known as mosquito fern now this floating fern looks pretty similar to duckweed at first glance but it's in a whole different league Azola has a unique partnership with a type of cyanobacteria that lives inside its leaves. This bacteria helps fix nitrogen from the air, making Azola one of the most nitrogen-rich plants out there. In fact, Azola has been used for centuries in Asia as a natural fertilizer in rice paddies. Farmers would let it grow alongside their rice to provide free nitrogen for the crops, boosting yields without chemical fertilizers. It's a true eco-friendly farming act. Now, Azola also grows fast. But what's interesting is that while it shares duckweed's ability to clean water, Azola can also outcompete it in certain conditions, especially when nutrient levels are lower. It can be used as animal feed too. And just like duckweed, it's packed with protein. So now you might be wondering, which one is better? Well, it really depends on your goals. If you are looking to quickly cover the surface of a pond, especially to reduce algae growth, 
Duckweed is your grow-to. It spreads fast and forms a dense cover. If you would, if you want a natural nitrogen fixer for your crops or an eco-friendly option for aquaculture, Azola might be the better choice. Its symbiotic relationship with cyanobacteria gives it an edge in nitrogen poor environments. Plus, it can enrich soil when used as green manure. Both duckweed and azolla have incredible benefits, but they also have challenges. Duckweed can overtake water systems and become invasive, while azolla, if left unchecked, can block sunlight and oxygen from reaching the water below arming aquatic life. Now to wrap it up, both duckweed and azolla are powerhouses when it comes to sustainable water management, farming and aquaculture. Whether you're looking to clean up a pond, grow food or improve soil health, you can't go wrong with either of these aquatic wonders. So what's your experience with duckweed or azolla? Let me know in the comments. And if you're thinking of adding these to your garden or pond, I'd love to hear your plans. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell as you don't miss out on any more cool tips about plants, sustainability and aquaculture. See you next time.